Hello, ballet dancers, and welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV Kids Workout Series. Today, we are doing a Christmas ballet class. If you like videos like these, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we also have a special Christmas preschool and kindergarten learning activity that you can grab from the description box below. We are gonna practice our reindeer trot so we can help Santa deliver all of the presents. But before we do our reindeer trots, we should warm up our feet. So let's get down on the ground and we can practice warming up our feet. You can tuck one leg behind, get down on two knees, and then come sitting down to the side. And then let's extend our legs out to the side. Once we're here, let's sit up tall. So our spine is nice and straight. We can take our fingertips softly out to the side and feet are straight in front of you pointed. And then we'll flex and then warm up by pointing again. Good. We want to pull our toes back first. Flex our feet, beautiful. Point again. Flex, point, flex, Point. Oh, you're getting such strong feet. This will help you do big jumps in ballet. Flex, point, flex, point. Beautiful. Now let's alternate. Let's flex one foot and point the other, and then we can switch them. Switch, switch, switch. Good job. Switch, switch, switch. Switch, what beautiful ballerina feet you have. Very good. All right, let's move and do some reindeer stretches. So we can bring our feet wide apart, pointing our toes, sitting up nice and straight again. Let's put up our antlers and we can tilt side to side, keeping lots of length in our spine, sitting up tall. Let's stretch to one side. Beautiful. Come on up, keeping our tummy strong and tight. Let's tip the other way, stretching to this side. We'll take a breath here. Coming up, let's stretch one more time, spreading your antlers. Very good. Working on our flexibility. Come on up and once more to the side. Beautiful reindeer stretches. Good, come on up. Let's bring our feet together. Let our knees flop out. Now let's pretend to be Rudolph and every now and again, Rudolph's nose is going to glow. So when it glows, we're going to hide it by leaning forward. So glow and then we're going to hide it Lean forward, very good, and we're safe. Come on up again, sitting tall, and our nose is going, go down. Very good, come on up. We'll do that one more time. Our nose turns bright red, lean forward. Beautiful stretches. All right, let's come back up to a standing position and we can do our reindeer trots. Coming up on your knees, let's put one leg forward, hands on your hips, and then we can step up to our standing position. Beautiful. Let's turn our feet forward in parallel position and we'll practice our trots. So we're going to go up on one toe, lift one knee, pointing our toe, Come on the ball of our foot and back down again and then switch to the other side. Up. And then we can speed that up a little bit and switch feet. Trot, 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 trot. Beautiful. Elbows are coming forward, making nice triangles at the side of your body. Beautiful reindeer trots. We'll do a few more here. Tummy is pulled in and tight. All right, let's come back. Straighten your legs. Let's do our Santa Claus plies next in 
first position. So our feet will be in first position. So look down and make sure they're in the shape of a pizza slice. Then we're gonna take our arms out and around our big bellies, pretending that we're Santa. Our fingertips would be at about our belly button level. Standing tall, we're gonna bend our knees, knees pointing out to the side of the room, and then squeeze, straighten our legs, come up again. Beautiful plie, let's do that again. Plie down, coming up again. This time, let's look down between our legs, make sure that we're making a diamond shape so that reindeer can jump through our legs. Let's stand up tall again. Beautiful, plie, straighten, plie, straighten, squeezing your leg muscles at the top, plie, straighten, plie, straighten. Let's try these in second position now. So we're gonna point our foot to the side, come to second position with our feet. We can open our arms up to second position as if we're creating a tiny ski slope. So if Santa was going to ski down, he would ski down our arm there, tucking our thumbs in, nice soft fingers, plie, straighten, knees pointing out to the side, plie, straighten, what a beautiful ballet dancer you are, straighten, plie, straighten, plie, straighten, let's do one more, plie, straighten. Let's point our other foot, come back to first position, bring our hands back around our big Santa belly, and then back down to Raba. Beautiful. Next, we're going to practice our sautés or our ballet jumps in first position just like elves. So elves are very light and quick on their feet and we're going to be too. We're going to start with a demi-plié and then we're going to jump up and point our feet as hard as we can. Point and then land again in our demi-plié. Straighten. Beautiful. Plié. Jump up. Sauté. Straighten. Another way that I like to practice my sautés is with a chair because I can get a little bit of a bigger jump and really practice pointing my toes. So let's see if I can get a chair. <gasps> it worked! If you don't have a chair, don't worry. You can practice with a chair later. But I wanted to show you, you can turn to the side, bend over so you can place your weight on your hands. Let's demi-plié and then we're going to jump up and point our toes. Point! And you can see I can stay in the air a little bit longer. Straighten, let's do that again. Demi-plié, point, plié, come on up. All right, let's do that again without the chair a few times. Placing your hands on your hips, elbows nice and forward, shoulders rolled down your back. Demi-plié, sauté, demi-plié, straighten. Again, plié, sauté plie on your own time. Beautiful sautés. We're going to work on our Christmas tree passes. So take your right foot, place it in third position in front of your other foot. We're going to shift our weight into our left foot and then draw our foot up to a passe position and then switch it behind and place it behind. Beautiful, let's bring that same right foot forward again, pointing it, drawing it up to your knee and bringing it down. Do you see how that makes a Christmas tree shape? We'll bring it up again. Let's add our arms so we're the shape of a Christmas tree and then back down again. Beautiful, once more. Let's move to the other side. Tondu, switch to third position. Now we're going to take our left foot, peel it off the floor, point up to right below our knee, behind, drop back down, third position. Beautiful, again on this side, bringing up to our Christmas tree position, coming back down again. Beautiful. Twice more. Christmas tree. 
back down again knees pointing out to the side when we bring it up Christmas tree beautiful back down again and then we'll breathe our arms and come back so now we are going to do our angel releve so let's bring our feet to first position and first we're going to practice our angel arms so we're going to bring them up like angel wings to a V position and gracefully let them float down again. Beautiful, again, V position, gracefully float down. One last time, angel wings floating up, down again. Now we're going to add a plie to that and as we bring our angel wings up, we're gonna come up on our toes. Releve, angel wings go up, look up at one hand, beautiful, come back down again, again, looking up at one of your angel wings, coming down again, one last time, releve, lifting on your toes, coming down again, beautiful angel wings. Let's move into our angel turns now. We can come, put our weight on one foot, tuck one foot behind, plie, and then we're gonna come up on both toes. And as we turn, bring your angel wings out to the side and up to their V position. Beautiful, lowering down. You can do that on the other side. Come onto the other foot, point one foot behind, plie and coming up and we'll turn the other way staying up on your toes tiny tiny steps as you go around bring your hands up to a beautiful V and plie to come down beautiful angel turns now we are going to practice swaying side to side we're going to pretend that we're holding the baby Jesus from the manger in our arms Rocking the baby, point. Let's step out to second position, plie. And we're going to swing to the side, rocking the baby Jesus, pointing our back foot. Come back through second plie, rock to the other side, pointing our other foot, beautiful. Second position, rock, rocking the baby. Beautiful rocking. Back and forth, pointing your foot as you leave. Last rock here. Let's point, coming back to first position with our feet. Next, we're going to practice our final pose, which is putting the star on the Christmas tree. I'm gonna to turn to the side. We're going to take a ballet step. We're going to point our back foot, making our knees point out to the side. And we can reach our front hand out as if we're putting the star or the angel on top of the tree. Let's take our other hand gracefully out to the side. And then if you can, you can lift your back leg off for a beautiful arabesque or putting the star on the tree pose. Beautiful. Let's try that on the other side. Turning on your tippy toes, ballet step, reaching your hand up, placing it on the top of the tree. Other arm goes out gracefully, shifting your weight to your front foot. And if you can, lifting off your back foot. Both legs are straight, pointing your foot that's lifted. Beautiful. And coming back to first position, Braba. Thank you so much for joining me for that Christmas ballet class. You are a beautiful ballet dancer and every time you practice, you get a little bit stronger. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and you can also check out our new kids channel, GVO Kids.
Don't forget to go down to the description box and print off our preschool and kindergarten Christmas learning activities that you can do over the holidays as well. Let's do a quick curtsy. Let's step to the side, point behind, curtsy, stepping to the other side, pointing your foot behind, curtsy. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you in the next video.